so this is Ghost in the Shell. Um, what it is is a sort of a uh, atmospheric reverb, I would describe it. Um, and it has a couple of different modes that I'm going to walk through really quickly uh, just to give you a, a sense of the, the different parameters. In its default setting, it's a sequenced reverb, and it uses a stochastic sequencer uh, or a random walk sequencer, these are sometimes called. So on any given step, it moves forward or backward. It can also choose to not move at all and that's determined by these two controls here. Step chance is the chance that, that anything happens on a given step. Uh, when it's high, it's more likely to move forward or backward. When it's low, it's more likely to stand still. Um, direction chance determines the likelihood of it going forward or backward. As you drop that below 0.5, it's more likely to move backwards and it can move in reverse from the direction that it, it, it's set to. Um, and this is a probably like a weird application for a stochastic sequencer. Um, it was just sort of an idea that I had about this patch when I was developing it because I kept finding these weird sounds with the, the granular module that's used to create the eeriness um, and so I wanted to be able to, to move between those. Um, you can also pause the sequencer, and when you do that, any of these eight steps become presets that you can select. Uh, and, and I, you know, again, I think this is probably like a weird way to use a stochastic sequencer. Um, I plan on doing a, another patch where I do some more advanced sequencer stuff like a Turing machine and throwing that in there after I, you know, I, I'm still fine tuning some of the, the methodology used in this. It works well enough here, but it, it could probably still be improved upon. Um, so the, the first mode is a sequenced mode, right? It moves through these steps. Uh, and in each mode, the left stomp switch always selects what mode it's in. The, the middle and right stomp switches perform different tasks. Uh, in sequencer mode, this is a tap tempo, and this pauses the sequencer. Uh, a note about the tap tempo is that in this mode, it, it also determines the speed of the stutter effect. Um, and the stutter effect is not like a... a sort of glitchy, loopy stutter, like a note repeat. Instead, I, I thought of like a, a dry uh, a kill switch pedal that are, are sometimes called stutter pedals. Um, so what it does is it drops the, the grain density of the granular, which creates sort of a tremolo effect. Um, and it's also randomly determined. There's a lot of random things going on in this patch. If you're not a fan of the unexpected, it's it's maybe not the best patch for you, but that can also be turned off. Um, so when this button's pressed on, it's on. When it's off, it's off. Uh, and on the second page, there's a, a clock divider that, that determines the relationship between the tap tempo here and the stutter effects tap tempo. Um, but that's a good transition into the second mode. Uh, these lights change color and there are some mode specific uh, uh, controls that come into play. In the second mode, it, it randomly determines the, the grain size of the granular module and the detuning. These are the two effects that, that the granular module is providing to the reverb to, to give it its eeriness. Um, so in this one, it's controlled by the, the stutter speed. Uh, and essentially the, the idea is that every time there's a stutter, um, the, the controls will be uh, randomly changed within certain parameters. Um,
So each time there's a stutter, it comes back with a new variation, a, a remix of the original controls or, or the previous set of, of controls. Um, and you can determine how much that's related to the stutter effect here. This is called shift chance, but it, it essentially it means uh, how often there's a, a stutter is related to how often there's uh, a remixing of the controls. So as this is set to one, every time there's a stutter, the the random modules will be triggered and there will be a new set of uh, grain sizes and detuning amounts. Um, when it's set to zero, that never happens. So if you want it to happen some of the time, but not all of the time that there's a stutter, uh, you can. You can also disable the stutter effect in this mode, it'll still give you a... a randomized uh, sound based on the clock for the stutter, essentially, and the, the likelihood of a stutter. Um, so stutter amount determines the likelihood of, of a stutter occurring, and, and also the length of it. Um, and stutter depth determines how much the, the uh, granular density is dropped. With low settings, uh, that may not be a particularly pronounced, uh, um, or I'm sorry, when the, the stutter is moving very quickly, the differences here are not really pronounced, but if you slowed that down and increased the stutter amount, you could create essentially like a random uh, switch between two different densities, which would create uh, different tremolo effects and, and different um, you know, variations in the sound. Uh, in the, the third mode, um, what happens is it, it's essentially like the stutter mode in that you can remix the, the grain size and detuning effect, uh, but you have control over it. So this stomp switch let me play something every time I press it you get different sounds uh, in this mode, the, the left stomp switch um, controls uh, only the, the, the detune change. This one will control the grain size and the detune. This one will just change the, the detune, which is a pretty subtle effect, but I found it was something that I wanted when I was exploring different uh, parameters. So you may or may not notice that that much. On the bottom row we have um, just some controls for the the patch overall. Uh, there's an octave up function which is not really like a shimmer reverb octave up it's more of like a here's weird alien voices octave up. But it can sound, I think, kind of pretty, depending on your definition of pretty. Um, pre-delay is not exactly a, a pre-delay. I mean, that's how it, it functions most dramatically, but it also will affect the tone of the patch because the granular module feeds back into itself. And so it will determine how quickly certain pitch changes occur. Uh, while a, a patch, while a, the reverb's decaying. So as you increase that, they'll, they'll change more slowly as you, as you turn it up uh, or, or lower it, they'll happen much more quickly. Um, decay is pretty familiar. Uh, detune spread determines the range of the detuning amount and all of the presets uh, from uh, 
the, the first mode uh, were determined with the detune spread of 0.500. Um, but you can change that. You could make the detune more dramatic or less dramatic with that control. Um, there's a mix control and then the octave up, which again is... not really a traditional octave up reverb. But more of like a weird alien voice I threw in a blender reverb. Um, so yeah, that's Ghost in the Shell, uh, which I think is really nice to pair with some e-piano. So.